I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We have a very interesting question here based on division of line segment. The question here is, given a parallelogram OABC, the line joining C to the midpoint of OA at D intersects the diagonal at P. Find the ratio of CPs to PD and the ratio of OP to PB. So let me sketch one. So this is the parallelogram. The sides are O, A, B, C. And uh, we are given that the line joining C to the midpoint of O, A so let this be the midpoint of OA. Let's join this. Doesn't really look like, but we'll call this as D. Okay. Intersects at D. Now, intersects the diagonal at P. So the line joining C to the midpoint of OA at D intersects the diagonal at P. So, so the diagonal, I should have written diagonal OB intersects the diagonal OB at P. So from O, I'm going to draw a diagonal to B. So it is intersecting the diagonal at P. Find the ratio of CP to PD and the ratio of O to P to PB. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. So let us assume that the ratio is S is to S1 minus S, we can write here, right? And this, let it be T to, let this side be 1 minus T. Let this be the ratio. We know D is the midpoint, so OD is equal to DA. Okay. So let's say that the vector OA will write vector OA as vector A, will write vector OC as, as B. So let OA be A and OC be B. In that case, vector O2B will be what? O to B, so this is a parallelogram, so this is also vector B. So O to B will be A plus B. A plus B. Now, to find the ratio in which P divides these two line segments, we need to consider what is OP in two different ways. Compare those equations and then get the solution. That is the strategy. So first, let's write OP as a scalar multiple of OB, right? S times OB. So which is equal to S times the sum of vectors A and B. So we'll call this as our equation number 1. Now, we could also write OP as a combination from the other side. So, OP could also be written as OC plus CP, right? So, OP equals to OC plus CP. O to C is vector B for us and C to P is T times CD. Now what is C to D? C to D is what? Well, let's write what CD is. So CD is equal to what? C to D will be CO plus OD. CO is minus P plus O to D, this is the midpoint of 
OA, so it is half A. Correct? So, C, CD is basically half A minus P. Okay. So, we'll substitute this in our equation here. So let's call this as our equation 2 and then from 2 we'll sub here for CD. So we get OP equals to B plus T times half A minus B. Correct? Now let's open this bracket. So we have B plus half of t times a minus t times b so so writing this as half of t times a plus we can take b common we get one minus t here so we get another equation for op let's call this as our equation three now what we can do is that we can compare the coefficients of a and b from equation earlier equation which was uh, right here too so we'll compare of vector a and b from equation 1 and 2, 1 and 3, okay? So, in equation 1, for A, the coefficient is S, so S is equal to, here, for A, the coefficient is half T. So, we get 2S equals to T, right? Comparing the coefficients of B, it is S in equation 1, it is equal to 1 minus t here, right? Now, since we know that t is 2s, we can actually find the value of t, right? So, so t is 2s, so s equals to 1 minus 2s, and that should help us to find the ratio, correct? So, so what we got here is the relation between s and t. We're going to use this to evaluate this particular ratio, correct? So what do we get? We get bringing 2s to the left side, we get s plus 2s equals to 1. And that means 3s equals to 1 or s equals to 1 over 3. Now if I put s equals to 1 over 3, I get t equals to 2 times 1 over 3. Correct? So these are the two ratios which we get for S and T. Now, when I say that S is 1 over 3, then what is the ratio for OP to PB? Now I'm saying S is 1 out of 3. That means this is 1. That has to be 2, right? So 1 out of 3 equal divisions. That's what it means, right? So when I say S is, is one third, that implies that the ratio OP is to PB is basically equal to 1 is to 2. Right? So out of the three parts, S is one third. Now from the second equation, which is T is two thirds. Now T is two out of three. That means this is two and this is one. Correct? So therefore, the ratio CP is to PD is equal to 2 is to 1, correct? So that is how we can get the ratios in which a line joining from a vertex to the opposite midpoint will divide the other diagonal. So that's a very important question from test point of view. I hope you understand and appreciate the steps here. And this comparison is the trick to get the solution. 
Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.